In today's episode of Ugro's Hardcore Adventures, we head over to the Burning Steps for a few quests before entering the Plague Lands. Today might be a hard day on Ugro. I mean, my rogue had about 3,000 health at this point. Don't have a day. <laughs> so, Western Plague Lands might be pretty dangerous, honestly. I'm immune to fire damage, so we can at least put a flame shock up. Oh, they actually reflect. Nature damage. <laughs> okay. Well, it's a good thing we don't need it. Oh, they dropped them too. Okay. So it's not just those two. Cool. Going to sleep though. Especially when I come at it with zero mana. Hmm. Use a little healing potion. Thankfully it was a crit. <laughs> Gouged me and then he stabbed me before he ran away. He's a new brogue. He's learning. He can't help it. Poor guy. Maybe next time. <laughs> I don't actually ever remember questing in the Boon and Steps on Horde. Because usually, you know, while leveling you do all the dungeons. But because I'm playing Hardcore and Hardcore Horde is basically solo self-found. Because there aren't any. <laughs> Can't do all the dungeons. Even for RFC people are having struggles trying to fill a group. That's how bad it is on Horde now. I don't know how Skull Rock's doing. Because I don't play there, but... I wouldn't think it would be that much better. Whoa. Absolutely destroyed that guy. Fire's kind of considering it may actually be better to go to Winter Spring before Western Plague Lands for the Shaman. But we'll, we'll see how the Western Plague Lands go. If I leave and then go Winter Spring and then come back later, it, it still works out. Yeah, that's a good way of doing this, please. Don't need to deal with being hit. <laughs> Shaman OP. We're gonna watch out for elite dragons. Go watch out for Volchan. <laughs> so it's a little bit sketchy running around down here, but be okay. Alright, let's head back here and hand and knees, and then we'll do Dreadmill Rock, because I can't remember if it unlocks anything. Kinda hoping Burning Steps gets me close to halfway through 55. Dark Iron Scraps from an ogre? Hmm, I think that ogre was actually a dwarf in disguise. Or... Four dwarfs stacked on top of each other, more likely. Get her nose ring. He can be in various caves. Can he be in this cave? That'd be very, very like easy if he could be in that cave. But I guess not. But we may have to deal with both of them. That was indeed the case. Oh, 
Yeah, this guy is pretty scary right now. Maybe a uh, greater healing potion angle. Ugh. Probably didn't need it, but <laughs> that torch. Maybe I did, because Ugro actually would have died if I didn't press it. Since he decided to fuck around by missing. Okay. That's done. I guess I hand in, in cargo? Yep. Man. You could tell that Blizzard didn't really know how to make gear back in the day, huh? Fire resistance legs. Sure. But then they deal fire damage. <laughs> Like, well, the only time I'd use these is, let's say, like, Ragnaros. Because we used to do that. Back in vanilla, we actually used resistance gear on DPS. It was a regular occurrence. Unlike today, where it's like, resistance gear on DPS? What are you, crazy? That guy just, like, Punched me and lit me on fire. That's definitely a healing potion. <laughs> I love how whenever I use a healing potion, that's when Wind Fury decides to be like, Oh, let me help you out. Dusty over here. Big Dusty. Well, at least this fella's... No, don't. Don't you do it. Now you can walk away. <laughs> he's like talking to his commander while he's crying. We are kind of running low on potions, so hopefully in the Western Plague Lanes I can uh, get more potions than I use. That would be excellent. <laughs> I don't know the possibility of it happening because it's going to be rough out there, but hopefully. I think we'll be putting on our axe for the moment. Killing some beasties. Now my axe skill isn't capped, so... May not be that great, but... Got a lot of attack now. <laughs> it's beasts. The ruins of Anderhole. Definitely gonna be a scary area for Ugro. Diamonds get punished. Like, hey, go up here and fight these mobs and bring back the stuff. All, all I had to do on my rogue was pickpocket a guy. Complain about the quest, the quest item drops every time. I gotta kill that vulture because apparently they can drop both, which makes sense because vultures eat everything. Kinda of good game design if the vulture can drop both. It just means that he's been walking around nom nomming, you know. I do hope though that I don't die today so I can actually get at least one point in elemental devastation. Because having more crit because you crit seems like a good time, you know? I've gained like 10,000 experience just killing these mobs. I feel like I'm one of those bots from Foulwood, honestly. Just killing beers. There's a bunch of people in trade chat right now talking about how they got banned and their main account is almost back. And it's like, stop buying gold, idiot. You won't get banned if you don't buy gold. I love going on the classic WoW Reddit whenever there's like a ban wave and then a bunch of people like post that they've been banned and they're all like, why? What did I do? I've been playing for 20 years. This is the first time. It's like, did you buy gold? Because <laughs> you probably bought gold. <laughs> I was once on Classic, I was once like running around down here in a level 30 Night Elf was running through this area. I guess they were coming through the Plague Lanes to get the Scarlet Monastery. 
This was before hardcore, obviously, so people didn't really care about dying. But I saw them like, <laughs> it was like five beers up. Like, holy shit. And also, the mage that I saw yesterday at level 59 just hit level 60. His name was Fortnite Mage. I remember his name because when I saw him, I ran past and said, we like Fortnite. Blood of Heroes. Wonder what that does. I remember on my rogue, I said, when I came here, I said, the only thing that can kill me in the Plaguelands is if someone clicks a Blood of Heroes around me. I don't have that same feeling on Ugro. A lot of things can kill me in the plague lands on Ugro, I'd say. <laughs> like, the day my rogue came here was the day I did the Groshi Queen in Unguro. I was, I was feeling pretty good. I was like, alright, I don't think anything can really get in my way now. Hi Chief Winterfall almost did, but that's because I made some errors. Like not sapping and not gouge. Bandaging and... <laughs> Blind. Even they didn't use everything in our arsenal. Whenever you see a shaman that's really low and they're just trying to out heal, it's like why even bother like... <laughs> You're not going to come back from that. If you're at a deficit already, it's like, eh. This quest is hard, man. Look at how many mobs there are. Now, as a shaman, I have stone claw totems, so maybe I can, you know, do that, but it's still going to be fucked. <laughs> <laughs> now these hounds are pretty rough. I'll do a bandage. Pretty team strong these hounds. The thing is now, I gotta kill this and then hope that the tent provides some alloys <laughs> so I don't pull everything. This quest is way harder than what the Alliance has to do to actually do quests here though. Not even close. All the Alliance have to do is go kill some skeletal flares and ghouls over here and then they're good. What do you mean? I need to be in the camp. I am in the camp. <laughs> How close in the camp? <laughs> okay, I can get it done with uh, stone claw, I think. Oh, I can't do it in combat. <laughs> Can't place it in combat? How the hell are we meant to do that quest then, Ugro? Maybe... Hmm... If I got to level 56, I might be high enough level to not aggro. The problem is with... All along the watchtowers being locked behind it, I don't really want to go into Anderhole without that quest. Would it be better for me to go to Winter Spring? That is the question now. I mean, I could get to 56 easier in Winter Spring. I mean, my rogue went into Searing Gorge and had to leave, so it's only fitting that my shaman would come here and have to leave. One for one. <laughs> I mean, I was thinking before I even came here, I was like, maybe Winter Spring would be better. For today. <laughs> I 
So I'm not surprised I'm back there like I think winter spring is better Because without the scarlet diversions done, there's no point going into Anderhole and there's no point doing any of the quests around the farms, right? Two more years and then we go hand this quest in and then I think it probably will send me to Thunder Bluff That'll be when I leave this shitty zone <laughs> Like well Time to head to Kalimdor, we'll go to, we'll go to Winter Spring and try to hit 56 and maybe, maybe even stay there a little bit. I mean, after the rogue absolutely clowned on the zone at level 55, I expected the shaman to at least be viable here, but holy shit, it's just awful. <laughs> like, it is not good at all. Why is there no strength on this? Literally every stat... And no of the good state. <laughs> what the fuck? And before, nowhere is good to quest anymore. Because we're level 55 and we're a shaman. Playing southbound. It's gonna be a struggle everywhere. 